Imagine standing in the middle of the Saudi desert, sand dunes stretching to the horizon, the sun beating down mercilessly. It's one of the driest places on Earth. But what if I told you that just beneath your feet, hidden from view, are massive tanks, not of oil, but of water? That's right. In a country known for its oil wealth, something far more precious is being stored underground. And Saudi Arabia doesn't want the world talking about it. This isn't a science fiction story or a conspiracy theory. This is a real-world effort to tackle one of the greatest challenges of the 21st century. Water scarcity. So why is Saudi Arabia hiding water tanks beneath the desert? Well, let's dig into it. Saudi Arabia is a desert kingdom. It receives less than five inches of rainfall per year. And yet, for decades, it's maintained modern cities, lush green parks, and even farms. But how? The answer lies in two things, technology and money. The kingdom has poured billions into building desalination plants, which convert seawater from the Persian Gulf into drinkable water. In fact, Saudi Arabia is the largest producer of desalinated water in the world. But here's the paradox. Desalination is insanely expensive and energy intensive. And with population growth, industrial expansion, and climate change all increasing demand, Saudi Arabia realized that even desalination wouldn't be enough. It needed a backup, something discreet, secure, long-term. Now, enter the hidden solution, subterranean water tanks. Concealed beneath thick layers of desert sand and rock, these vast underground reservoirs are engineered to store fresh water in case of national emergencies, whether it's war, prolonged drought, or a sudden strike on key infrastructure. But these aren't just big water containers. They're carefully placed, often disguised installations designed to operate unnoticed, yet capable of sustaining millions for extended periods. Why such secrecy? One reason, vulnerability. Saudi Arabia relies heavily on desalination, and while effective, those plants are soft targets. A cyber attack, a missile strike, or a naval blockade could cripple water supplies overnight. In a region where instability is always a possibility, Saudi officials aren't taking chances. These underground tanks are their insurance policy, a silent safeguard built for survival when the system breaks down. But the idea of underground water storage isn't new. Back in the 1980s, when Saudi Arabia first discovered vast underground aquifers, it started pumping water like there was no tomorrow, literally. The government launched ambitious agricultural programs to become self-sufficient in food. Fields of wheat, alfalfa, and even rice were grown in the desert. But by the 2000s, they had drained much of their ancient fossil water which had taken thousands of years to accumulate. That crisis forced a reckoning. Water was no longer an abundant resource. It was a strategic asset, and thus began a shift from using water freely to protecting and preserving it at all costs. Interestingly, Saudi Arabia has remained tight-lipped about the full scale of its underground water infrastructure. Why? Because water security is national security. Announcing the exact locations, capacities, or even existence of these tanks could make them targets. It would also raise questions internationally, especially among countries that share aquifers or water sources in the region. There's also a geopolitical angle. As other Middle Eastern nations, especially Jordan, Iraq, and Yemen, 
face worsening water shortages, water could become a bargaining chip or even a flashpoint. By keeping its strategy hidden, Saudi Arabia maintains leverage in an increasingly water-stressed region. But it's not just about hiding water. Saudi Arabia is investing in some of the most futuristic water technologies on the planet. They're testing cloud seeding, building solar-powered desalination plants, and using AI to manage water consumption. The ambitious Neom City project even claims to be planning a closed-loop water recycling system, where not a single drop goes to waste. Still, the underground tanks remain the kingdom's silent insurance policy, a quiet nod to the fact that even the most advanced systems can fail. So why should you care about Saudi Arabia's hidden water tanks? Because Saudi Arabia is a preview of the future. What they're facing now, extreme heat, limited rainfall, population pressure, is what many countries will face in the decades to come. California, South Africa, Australia, even parts of Europe are already experiencing similar water crises. The kingdom's underground tanks are not just a solution, they're a warning a signal that even the richest countries on Earth are preparing for a time when water is no longer guaranteed. So next time you think about the Middle East, don't just picture oil fields and endless dunes. Picture quiet bunkers beneath the sand, holding the most precious resource on Earth. In the 21st century, water is power. And Saudi Arabia? They're hiding theirs where few would think to look.